Greetings and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to configure price lists for customers, customer groups, and websites. Oro Commerce allows sellers to create and customize multiple price lists for customers, customer groups, and website. Each price list can contain an unlimited number of price points, price tiers, and various currencies. To configure a price list for a specific customer, Navigate to the Customer menu and use the drop-down to select Customers. The Customer Grid displays. Hover over the Quick Action menu on the far right of the customer and use the available options to edit the record. To configure price lists for this customer, click on the Price List link. The price list section allows users to build an aggregated price list for every website you have configured in Oro Commerce. You can use the tabs to switch between the websites. Select a price list for this customer. If you would like to assign another price list to the customer, click the Add Price List button. Use the drop-down to select a price list. You can use the double-sided arrow to drag and drop the price list into the appropriate priority order. OroCommerce searches for the product price in the top priority price list first. Select one of the following fallback options for the customer. Fallback is a configuration setting that enables or disables access to higher level price lists. For example, if a customer's item is not available from the price list configured, it can fall back to pull the price from the group that the customer belongs to. A price list might not be available due to maintenance or the promotion for the sale price is no longer valid. Selecting the Customer Group option means that Oro Commerce uses this price list for customer groups to calculate prices for the storefront. Selecting Current Customer Only means that Oro Commerce will use the price configurations for the current customer for the price calculations. The Merge Allowed checkbox allows you to configure flexible price options and allows prices to overlap. This means that when multiple price lists are available to a customer, the system will combine price tiers of the same product for those price lists. For example, if price list 1 has product A for $46, and price list 2 has product A for $40, with Merge turned on, customers have both price lists assigned to them. Merging will display the lower priced item displayed for the product. If you do not merge price lists, even if both price lists are available to the customer, only the higher priority price will display for the product. Repeat this process to configure other website price lists. Click on one of the tabs to configure the website. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll demonstrate configuring price lists for a customer group. Navigate to the Customer menu and use the drop-down to select Customer Groups. Hover over the Quick Action menu on the right of the customer group and use the available options to edit the record. Click on the Price List link. Configure the price list as previously demonstrated. Keep in mind that the fallback options for customer groups are different than they are for customers and websites. Selecting Website means that Oro Commerce uses the price list from the selected website configuration to calculate prices for the storefront. Selecting Current Customer Group Only means you would like Oro Commerce to calculate pricing based on the current customer's group. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to configure a price list for a specific website. Navigate to the System menu and use the drop-down to select Websites. Hover over the Quick Action menu on the far right of the website and use the available options to edit the record. Click on the Price List link. Configure the price list as previously demonstrated. Keep in mind, the fallback options are different for websites. Selecting Config means that Oro Commerce uses default price lists in the system configuration to calculate the prices shown on the storefront. Selecting Current Website Only means Oro Commerce will use the website's configuration for price calculations. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. 
Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.oralcommerce.com/media-library.